So now let us see some formatting options that Dropbox Paper provides us with. So I'm going to go around over here and then I'm going to write in some sentence. For example, I'm just going to say this is a test sentence right over here, just like this. And once I type that in and select out a certain part, you can see that a formatting bar actually pops up. So over here, the first one right over here is bold. So if I were to select this, you can see that the text is bolded out. I can select this and do a strike through as well, which actually has a strike through text effect, as you can see. I can select it out, I can highlight it and choose a color of my choice right over here. So you can see that the text is highlighted. So I can simply go over here and remove the highlight right over here as well. So just click here and remove. Everything over here is very, very minimalistic. If I want to create a hyperlink and link to a website, I can also go over here, select it out and type in something like this. So I'm going to go around and say youtube.com right over here, press enter and you can see that this link is clickable now and it'll go to youtube.com right over here. I can select it out and work around with the headings as well. So let's say for example, if I were to select it, press large heading right over here, it's a heading and now it's a heading too. If I want it to be regular text, I can simply click on it click on the heading right over here and it turns on to a regular text just like this. So you can just select this out and turn it into heading one or heading two, as you can see right over here, just like that. So that is how uh, heading actually works like. So that's how basic formatting actually works like. So that is how you can work around with the formatting inside of Dropbox paper. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.